Peter and James and John and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign when all these things shall be fulfilled? What's going to be the sign of all these things? Because he told me, he said, now all, ain't nothing going to be left. Jesus. Everything going to be torn down. Amen. Ain't nothing going to be left. All going to be torn down. But they, they asked him a question because they were concerned. Because they want to know. You know, people, we want to know things. Mm -hmm. We want to know things ahead of time. Don't we? Mm -hmm. So we can prepare ourselves. Sometimes people can know things and still don't prepare themselves mm -hmm. as they should. But what he said? And Jesus answering them began to say. Jesus answering them began to say what? Take heed lest any man deceive you. Take heed lest any man deceive you. For many shall come in my name. Doing what? Saying I am Christ. A lot of people are going to say I'm Christ. I know the Lord. I, they're going to talk about the Lord and say what they know. And shall deceive men. What he said they're going to say they, they are Christ but they're going to deceive men. Amen. Ain't that something? Amen. People saying and talking about the Lord. That's why we got to take heed. Make sure it's according to the Word of God. Make sure our life is according to the Word. Because a lot of people are going to come and say, I have it. I'm, I have know about the Lord. I'm Christ. I am, I am the one. But he said, a lot of people are going to be deceived. Amen. This is what the scripture says. And when ye shall hear of wars. When ye shall, this is what he said. We hear wars, rumors of wars. Be ye not troubled. Don't be troubled. For such things must must need be. Such things must need be. But the end shall not be yet. Read the book. For nation shall rise against nation. And? And kingdoms against kingdoms. What else? And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places. And there shall be famines and troubles. And, there are the begin and these are the beginning of sorrow. Well, they ask and they, they say, what? shall be the sign of thy coming. Yeah. Now, they asked him that, mm -hmm. and now he's given them an explanation of what will be the signs of his coming. Did he do so? Amen. He's going to hear famines, pestilence. What else he says? Amen. For nation shall rise against nation. Nation going to rise against nation. And kingdom against kingdom. Kingdom. See how? See how? See the turmoil in the earth today? See, we, what we got as a people of God, we got to pray and watch that the Lord will help us to be prepared for his coming. Because these, these things got to happen. These things got to happen. People say, well, we're going to straighten this out. This matter, that matter. There's all kind of things going on. We just got to prepare ourselves for the coming of that great day of the Lord. What he said? And there shall be earthquakes, earthquakes in diverse places. Diverse places. And there shall be famine. There will be famine and, and what else? And troubles. And troubles. These are the beginning of sorrow. These are the beginning yes, of sorrow. You see, even now, things that's going on, the sorrows that's in the earth today. Yes. It's a lot, it's millions of yes. millions of people that's sorrowful. Why are they sorrowful? Because of the pandemic. Because of things that take place. Jesus said these are the beginning. Yeah. So you tell me, we ain't seen it all? No. Huh? The, these are the beginning. Yeah. This is, you be tell me all this didn't happen? And this just the beginning? You ain't got in the middle yet. That's why we are the people. Glory to God. We got to be watchful. We got to be prayerful. We got to ask our Lord, help us. Can't get this right now. One scripture say we should assemble and come and we see the day approaching. Even he said, even the more. Lord, I got to help us, saints and friends. This, this thing is critical. More critical than we really think. Read the book. Amen. Verse nine. But take heed to yourself. Why right, take heed to yourself? For they shall deliver you up to councils. They're going to deliver you up to council. And in the synagogues, ye shall be beaten. In the synagogues, you shall be beaten. And ye shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake. See all, see all these things going to happen. For a testimony against them. For a testimony. We don't know what may come up in our life. But with regard to what comes up, what are we going to do? Are we going to stand for Jesus? Are we going to fall for the devil? We got to make a stand. That's why prayer, being prayerful 
It's so important. That's why being watchful, obedient to God, seeking the Lord, yeah. asking Him for strength, asking Him for power, asking Him for help, because yeah. we need it. Yeah. Read the book. And the gospel must first be published against among all nations. Well, the gospel got to be published. Thank God for those that are publishing the gospel. There are some that's publishing the gospel all over the world in different places. Thank God for it. we'll be, you know, we, we, we may not be as large as a redwood. Is that right? But we stand as tall as a tree. Yeah. Is that right? Sometimes people, get, more people get more because the more the more people, the more people you have working in certain areas, you can get for life. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Amen. But thank God for who who we are able to reach. Yeah. Is that right? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Who we are able to reach. Yeah. What is that? Verse 11. What is that? But when they shall lead you, but when they shall lead you and deliver you up, and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand what ye shall speak. Amen. People that's come and apprehend you, they don't, they don't take no thought for what you shall speak. As a man, don't take no thought for what you shall speak. Because you know what? Jesus, there's a reason for that. Because when Jesus work in your heart, he's going to give you the right thing to say. What is that? Neither do ye premeditate. Don't even premeditate. But whatsoever shall be given you in that hour. Whatever gonna be given you in that hour. That speak. Now whatever, whatever, whatever. It's like truth. Whatever truth don't speak that. Because that don't suffice what's going on in that particular hour. For it is not ye that speak. Glory to God. You hear the scriptures there? Amen. Don't meditate, don't be meditate. But whatever is given to you to speak in that got, hour, in that hour, that speak ye. Speak ye. For it is not ye that it's not ye that speak. Who's speaking then? But the Holy Ghost. That's why everybody needs the Holy Ghost. See the reason we are now. Now the brother gonna he see in the last days all these things gonna take place. Now the brother gonna betray the brother to death. And the father, the son. The father, the son. And the children shall rise up against their parents. Ain't, you, you see, sad times, isn't it? Amen. And shall cause them to be put to death. You see what's going on? So that's, you know what? That's why the Lord tells us to love one another. Amen. See, because you love one another. Your children love your parents. Parents love your children. You love your brother. You, you, you ain't going to do nothing to hurt them. Love worketh what? No illness to his neighbor. But these things will take place. Give him chapter and verse. Amen. Mark 13, chapter and verse 12. Let's hear it. Now, now the brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father the son. And children shall rise up against their parents, and shall cause them to be put to death. And that's amazing how children rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men. And you'll be hated of all men. For my name's sake. This is sorrowful times here. You shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But, Dealing with, but what? But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. The same shall be saved. Now we're going to deal with some great tribulation. Let's see what it says. Amen. But when ye shall see the abomination of the desolate, uh -huh. sp spoken of by Daniel the prophet, what you should do, standing where it ought not, where standing where it ought not, let him that readeth understand, read have understanding, read, and let them that be in Judea flee to the mountain. All right, and let him that is on the housetop not go down into the house, neither enter therein to take any of his house. See, <laughs> read. Amen. And let him that is in the field not turn back against for the take of his garment. Let him that is in the field not return back again Amen. for the take of his garment. But You're not going to have time. In regards to you, you ain't going to have time to do. You see when, when great tribulation and things come, it's certain things you're not going to have time to do. It's going to be so much turmoil. So many things that's going to be gone. See, people don't realize. I don't know. We, we may not be in the sea, but one thing about it. Jesus said, before one job of tilt, all these things are going to be fulfilled. It's going to happen. We see things happening right now. But people are not aware of it. Read the book. Verse 17. What is that? But woe to them that are with child. Uh-huh. And to them that give suck 
in those days. War unto them. Wow. Read. Really? And pray that your flight be not in the winter. For in those days shall be affliction, then those such days. as was not from the beginning of the creation which God created until his time. You hear what it said? It's going to be greater. And he said earlier, it's going to be greater. Yeah. See, people that ain't seen it yet. No. Things are coming, you all. Hallelujah, Jesus. On this earth. Yeah. Read verse 17 again. Amen. But woe to them that are with child. Uh huh. And to them that give suck in those days. Uh huh. And pray that your flight be not in the winter. It's easy. Woe to them that are with child, with, with child, maybe that are pregnant, and them that give suck in those days. It's going to be rough. Yeah. And that, that's even rough on a mother. She's pregnant. She got to deal with all this tribulation with child, with little young baby. That, can you imagine that? See, you know, certain things. Only women can associate with because they, they, they understand the severity when they're pregnant, having to go through, when they're nursing and having to deal with things. And then you got a whole lot of women that's in that predicament. It's tough. Is that right? Read the book. And then verse 19. For in those days shall be affliction. In those days going to be affliction. Such as was not from the beginning. Women. Of Slow, slow, slow down because I want that to kind of sink in. Amen. Read it again. For in those days, for in those days shall be affliction. Affliction. Such as was not from the beginning of the creation. Hold it. Not from the, even from the beginning of creation. Yeah. Which God created. Which God the, created. Unto this time. Ain't that something? Yeah. It could be such great affliction. Great affliction. That have not been since the beginning of creation, which God created. Unto this time, huh? neither shall be. Neither shall be. Say, we got to pray. We got to really, really get, don't, don't, you know, people, you know, we got to understand something now. We got to be prepared for certain things in life. I know we go through certain things, all of us go through certain things, but this right, we went through nothing. This is some tough stuff right now. You better have the power of God working in you. Lord help us all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, you know, you know, people are getting upset now, you know, things people get panicky because the, they don't stop the pipeline, the gas line. It's, you know, stop gas and the ransom and people, you know, you know, all kind of things that go on in the world that get us in in, 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 in hyped up. As a people of God. We shouldn't be worried about nothing. Yeah. Just say, Lord, they used to sing the song years ago, take me through. Yeah. Lord Jesus, take me through. Yeah. We just want to be able to go through. Yeah. <laughs> Read the book. Amen. Verse 20. What is that? And except that the Lord had shortened their now, those now, days. Now listen to this right carefully. Now listen to this right here. The tribulation thing will be so tough, so bad. Listen to what verse 20 says. And except that the Lord has shortened those days. And except that the Lord has shortened, shortened those days, what will take place? No flesh should be saved. No flesh. Things get so tough, say, that it, 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 it can affect us. Because we are still what? Flesh. You still have fleshly emotions. You can still have fleshly feelings. Yes, you do. Yeah. There's certain things that people got the Holy Ghost now, it, it affect them in their flesh. Yeah. That people say they got the Holy Ghost, they get burdened down, get sad about things. Yeah. Is that right? So he's talking about these tribulations now. Yeah. What he says. But for the elect sake. But thank God, Lord, I want to be one of your elect. Whom he hath chosen. Glory to God. Yeah. But for the elect sake. Whom we have chosen. He has shortened the day. Lord Jesus, let us be a chosen one. Who we have chosen. Everybody ain't chosen. The scripture says a few call. Is that right? Many call, but yes, right. Many are called, but few are chosen. Ain't that something? Many call. He called from the rising of the sun to the going down there. But who's chosen? 
A chosen one gonna go to. Huh? And I'll give you rest. Chosen one. Read the book. Verse 21. And then if any man shall say to you, Lo, here is Christ. If any man shall say to you, Lo, here is Christ. Or lo, he is there. He is there. Believe him not. Don't believe him. For false, for false Christ and false prophets, pro, pro, false prophets shall rise. You know what he And shall sow signs and wonders. Shall listen what the scripture says. We say we got to be careful. You just don't fall for anybody and anything because they say they just they do it. Because he doesn't say that people false prophets arise and will deceive the very late. They say, Lord, have not we cast out devils in your name? Have not we done great things? And Jesus said, but I never knew you. We got to make sure our life is on point with the Lord. Pray and ask God, the Lord help us. But many, many people get deceived now. What he said? Amen. For false Christ and false prophets shall rise and shall show signs and wonders. And shall show signs and wonders to seduce. To seduce. If it were possible. What would they do? Even the elect. They can show, ain't that something? Yeah. They showing signs and wonders. I know that man got to be God because he did this. Not necessarily. That's right. that's right. See, that, 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 that's, that's what we got to be careful about. Amen. You don't want to be taken up, you know, get so emphatic with a, with a man. The only way you want to be that way with is Jesus. Amen. The man Christ you. Lord help me. I don't want to be deceived because people can easily be deceived. Didn't you see what that man did? Do you see what that man said? He must be a God, not necessarily. That's right. According to the scripture now. Is that right? Amen. You got to believe on him now. According to the scripture. What did he say again? Amen. But take heed. Behold, I have foretold you all things. I told you all things. But in those days. Uh, Christ is coming again. After that tribulation. But in those days. After that Tribulation. The sun shall be darkened. You know what say? But in those days after that tribulation, the sun shall be darkened. And the moon shall not give her light. And the moon shall not give her light. And the stars of heaven shall fall. And the stars of heaven gonna fall. And the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken. And the power it has up. So that's all that that took place, all that. Then it then it's still something coming. Amen. Still some more things coming. Mm -hmm. Sun gonna be dark. Amen. Moon, no more moon. Star, you tell me, see, he gonna shake, he said he gonna shake the earth. There was no star. This, they, they, they up there. That's the glory of God, but he, he gonna sh shake the heavens. Everything coming down. Amen. Lord help us, Jesus. Help us. That's a great day, isn't it? That's right. That's a day that we can't even in our own mind imagine or think about. That's why David said, such knowledge is too wonderful. I cannot attain unto it. What he said? And then, uh oh, and then shall, the, shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds. After all that, is that all right? After all that, the tribulation, everything that took place, stars falling, heaven shaken. Then they're going to see who? The Son of Man. Who is that? Coming That's in. Jesus. Amen. They're going to see Jesus coming. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to see Jesus coming. Yeah. In the cloud. Then the, did the scripture say that same Jesus that was taken up from you? Yeah. Did the scripture say that? Shall, be, shall so come in like now? Yeah. Didn't Jesus say that? You're going to see Jesus coming. Yeah. You're going to see the Son of Man. The Son of God. You're going to see him coming. You're going to see him coming. People don't believe it now. But the scriptures are that same Jesus. Didn't it say so? What it says here. Amen. And then shall they see the, the Son of Man coming in the clouds. With then great, they're going to see the Son of Man coming in the clouds. With great power and glory. With great power and and great, great, is that right? Amen. Great power and great glory. 
With great power with, and glory. With great power and glory. And then shall he send his angels. Then shall he send his angels. And shall gather together his elect uh -huh. from the four winds. Yes. From the uttermost parts of the earth to the uttermost parts of the heavens. Yes, sir. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. All right, now let's learn the parable. He's just giving you an illustration of what things that's going to take place. Even he talked about that in Matthews. Amen. But we're going we're gonna to continue here in Mark. We're going to learn the parable of the fig tree. Let's hear what it says. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When her branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is near. Is that true? Amen. Yes. Read the book. So ye in like manner, when ye shall see that these things come to pass. When you see things come to pass. Know that it is not. Know that it's not. Even at the doors. So, so what we got to be aware of is that the coming of the Lord. Mm -hmm. We see all these things going on. Yeah. All these things happening. Is that right? Know that it is near, even at the door. What else? Verily I say unto you. What? That this generation shall not pass. This generation shall not pass. Till all these things be done. All these things going to be done. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. Read the book. Heaven and earth shall pass away. Listen to what he said. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But my word shall not pass away. One thing about it, one thing we got to, we got to put our hope and our trust in the word. Is that all right? Amen. Believe in the word. Obey in the word. Ask God to help you. Heaven and earth is going to pass away. But the word is not going to pass away. Amen. Read the book. But of that day. But of that day. That hour knoweth no man. Listen, listen to this right here now. But of that day. In that hour, and that hour, knoweth no man. Knoweth no man. No, not the angels which the, are in heaven. The angels don't know. Neither the son. Say what? Neither the son. The son is coming back. But he don't know. But because you know why he, he get his wrong? The father. The father. Amen. <laughs> Read the book. What does it say again? Amen. But of that day. But of that day. And that hour. Man, and that hour. No, see. No man. See. Read. No, not the angels which are in heaven. No, the angels don't know. Neither the son. Neither the son. But. The but. Father. Who? The father. But the father. Amen. But the father. Amen. 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 So I say, well, the son don't know. Well, the scripture, I believe what the scriptures say. The scriptures say you don't know. If the scriptures say you don't know, what I'm supposed to say, you know? If the scriptures say the son don't know, do I suppose to say that he know? Amen. Matthew 24. And verse what? Verse 36. What it said? But of that day, and hours know of no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. Say who? But my father only. But as the days of but, no were. But he said his father only. Amen. You know when Jesus was here, he always he always said, I, I do it. He always did what his father said. Yeah. It's just like us. As, as a people of God, may God help us all. We have the Holy Ghost. We have the spirit of the Father. And we have the spirit and the Son. Is that right? Now, people may say, well, what he said? I say, you have the spirit of the Father and of the Son. The scripture say, it's the spirit of him that raised up Jesus dwell in you. He, he, he shall quicken you by his mortal body. Jesus always did what the Father said. You ever notice this talk? I do what I, I do what my Father tell me to do. We as a people, we have the Holy Ghost. We're supposed to be led by the Holy Ghost. We're supposed to obey the Holy Ghost. No. That's our power. That's power that's working in us. You remember when Jesus said this? I do always those things that please who? You're talking about the Father. So we as a people, we receive the Spirit. We got to let, we got to pray, Lord, help us to understand when you're leading us. Help us to know 
Because sometimes we can go on our own, our own cognizance and our own thoughts. We want, want to really be led by the Spirit, don't you? Amen. We want to obey the Spirit. Amen. Continue to read. Yeah, that goes in Mark 13, 33. But it says, Take heed, watch and pray. All right, take heed now, brothers and sisters. For ye know not when the time is. You, see, you, you, you don't know when the time is. Amen. We don't know when the time is. Jesus said, I don't know. Angels don't know. But my father. Amen. For the son of man is as a man. The son of man is as a man. Taking a far journey. And he's taking a, like a man taking a far journey. A son of man is like a man taking a far journey. Amen. Read the book. Who left his house. Left his house. And gave authority to his servant. Yes. And to... Every man his work. Yes. And commanded the potter to watch. Yes. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh. We don't know when the master of the house cometh. At we, even. Do we? We don't know when the Lord Jesus is coming back. But he told us to be what? Be ready. You know, somebody said, I'm coming to pick you up. Be ready. But if you ain't ready, no. you, know, you, you can't stick it. I'll be ready, Father. You're supposed to be ready. We, 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 be, we be thinking, just give me a few minutes. You know, it's like if, if any people travel and you go to Atlanta and you go to these big cities and, and, and you think because you, who you is, and, and, when, and when that door, when that door closed, everybody, you see people rushing, why are you rushing so? They trying to get to that train. Because they know if they don't get on that train, they're going to miss their flight because they got to go way on the other side of the airport to another concourse. And they be trying to get to that train, and they be they be moving. Sometimes the, the you know the, the stairs you know be going down slow, and people in a hurry they they they, 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 they get around. Them. They got one thing that you can get on, and it's like just like you ain't even got to walk. Just stand there, and just take it. Big old long thing, just take it. Some people are walking fast, even on that, trying to get where they're going, because when they get to the train and the door is closed, the train is gone. It ain't, it's not going to open back up. So when the Lord comes, he's giving us time now. When he comes, doors close. Whatever it is, it's like Noah. When the door is shut, can nobody get in? So we got to prepare ourselves to what? Be able to enter in at the straight gate. Read the book. Watch ye therefore. Yeah, they watch ye therefore. For ye know not when the master of the house comes. You don't know when the master of the house is coming. At even. Or at midnight. At evening or at midnight. Or at the cock crowing or, or in the morning. You don't know what time you're coming. You don't know what time. Midnight, the cock crowing, early in the morning. But we have to just be watchful. Yeah. Let's watchful. come in suddenly. Let's come in suddenly. What happened? He find you sleeping. So if you sleep, you're not ready, are you? You're not prepared. Is that right? When you sleep, you don't know nothing. Is that right? Sometimes my wife come in the room or go out the room and stuff. I don't sleep. I don't know nothing. Sometimes I leave early in the morning. She sleep. Sometimes I wake up and sometimes I want it all depends on how how I can tell how hard she's sleeping. She's sleeping good and hard. I leave her alone. I say, go ahead and sleep on, baby. Sleep on. But she don't know when I go. What time you left? Right now? You were sleeping so good, you looked so comfortable. I'm gonna bother you. Well, it don't matter how comfortable we are, how, how good. <laughs> when the Lord come in, we better be we better be watching and ready. Spiritually, mentally, physically, just be ready. As God, every day, every day. The scriptures say one day with the Lord is as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. One day with the Lord is a the Lord, the day could have been like a thousand years, and it's time for him to come on back. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. But we know that there's other things that are going to take place, though, isn't it? Yeah. So the Lord has given us time. Continue to read, John. Amen. Let's what, come and suddenly. What, what verse you at? Verse 36. Let's hear it. Let's come and suddenly he find you sleeping. Let's come and suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say unto you. And what I say unto you. I say unto all. And what I say unto you, I say unto all. What is that? Watch. Watch. Thank you, John. May God bless all of you. Watch. And this is the same. Watch. And so we're grateful to God for all things. 
May the Lord ever bless you all and keep you. Let's remember, this This is our salvation. This is what this we can't forget. This is our purpose. This is why we're living the way we live. This is why we do what we do. Because we want to be ready for the coming of the Lord. Everybody else ain't right, but we got to be mindful of this. Is that right? Not to get so slight. No, don't get slight. Just pray one for another. Pray for each other. Don't keep your mind on the coming of the Lord. Because he coming. He coming early in the morning. He come at midnight. He come at the cock crow game. Amen. But he said, what I say on the wall, all, what I say on the wall, watch. May the Lord bless you and keep you as I pray. Let us all say. Now unto him, that they will keep you from falling and you follow to the presence of the Lord that's in your life. And to the only wise God, I will say, glory, majesty, dominion, and power both now and ever. Let us all say together, amen. amen. Greetings, everyone. Amen.